In today's video, we're gonna be going over all the equipment I think are completely necessary to get your very own Pico or Nano Reef up and running. I hope by the end of the video today, you guys are gonna have the right knowledge to seek out the proper equipment to get your very own Nano Reef up and running. What's going on, Reefers? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Blaine. This is the King Tide Corals channel. In the last video, I was able to do a tour of the Reef Builder Studio, and it was by far one of the most memorable things I've been able to do on the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be starting a new series I've been trying to get up and going for quite some time. We're gonna be talking about starting your very own nano reef tank project. Now I've heard in the past recently, a lot of people are struggling with their Pico or their nano reefs. So we're gonna be going ahead, starting a new nano reef with a UNS 5N, and we're gonna be going through the entire process from start to finish to getting your very own nano reef up and running. I really look forward to starting this video series with you guys, so be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on any videos during this series. Let's go ahead and dive right into it and talk about what kind of equipment we truly need to get a nano reef tank up and running. I wanted to make quick mention real quick that we're not going to mention salt or salt water in this video really quick because it's kind of an obvious thing we're gonna need to get a nano reef tank up and running. So be sure to grab salt from your local fish store. And if you don't wanna make your own, you can always grab salt water from your local fish store as well if they carry it and make it for their customers. I just wanna make mention real quick that obviously salt water is gonna be really important to get this nano reef tank up and running. Before we get into our list of equipment that we need to get our Nano Reef up and going, I want to say thank you to the companies that sent out the equipment to make this Nano Reef Tank series a possibility. It's so much fun to be able to share this with you all, and I want to say thank you so much to Aqua Illumination, to CJ, and to Brightwell Products for sending out the gear and making this series a reality. Let's go ahead and dive right into it and check out what we got. When talking about equipment to get a nano reef tank up and going, the first and most important piece of equipment we need to mention is the canvas itself for our reef tank. And that canvas is gonna be our tank. And the tank that we're gonna be utilizing for this upcoming nano project is the Ultim Nature System 5N. Without the tank, there is no nano. For this build, I'm gonna be utilizing a UNS 5N. These are some of my favorite tanks as of late, and to be able to use one as a full-on reef is gonna be a lot of fun. The first thing that we're gonna to add to our nano reef tank is a light. The light that we're gonna be using for this nano reef tank is an Aqua Illumination Blade Coral Grow. I'm really excited about trying out this light, and Aqua Illumination usually makes amazing products. I'm using an Aqua Illumination Blade right next to it, but it's the Freshwater series. So excited to get them mirroring each other and have the new Aqua Illumination Blade Coral Grow over our Nano Reef Tank. The second piece of equipment we're gonna be adding to our Nano Reef Tank is a heater. The heater I went with is the new CJ Jolly Heater. This is the 25 series. I'm really excited about trying out this heater myself and right off the bat I can say I like the way it looks with how minimalistic it is. The third piece of equipment we're adding to our Nano Reef is a wave maker. The importance to having your wave maker or your pump is that you can get water moving around and creating oxygen exchange. This is essential for maintaining the health of your inhabitants. And for this one, we're gonna be utilizing a Higer pump I got off of Amazon. It's a small wave maker, but it'll definitely do the job. The last thing for our nano reef tank in our list of things needed will be our biological filtration in the form of rocks. The rocks are the key to our biological filtration. The rocks are gonna help give a surface area for our beneficial bacteria and microfauna to live. There's a multitude of selections of rock out on the market, but the main question mainly for our new hobbyists is gonna be dry rock or live rock. For my first build, I ended up utilizing live rock and I loved it. And for this build, I'm gonna beg the question to you guys, dry rock or live rock? All right, now we've gotten the chance to go over all the pieces of equipment that I think are necessary to get a nano reef tank up and running today. I will say though, I'm gonna be adding on a couple extra pieces of equipment to help out with running things a little bit smoother and with the overall stability. Keeping things stable in any aquarium is key, 
but in a nano reef tank, stability is going to be the ultimate key to your success. I look forward to mentioning these extra pieces of equipment and sharing with you all what I'm gonna be adding to the tank to make it run. Let's go ahead and check out the other things I need for my reef tank. One of the first items I'm also gonna be adding on is an auto top off. I have the Duetto auto top off that I'm gonna be running on this tank and this is gonna help out with the overall simplicity. I run these on all of my systems and it's to help maintain the salinity levels throughout the course of the day. If you're looking to add some mechanical filtration into a nano reef tank, a hang on the back filter is a great way to go. This is also gonna fulfill your need for a pump and helping with the oxygen exchange, but you can also slide in and fit in some chemical filtration if you're wanting to add some. One item definitely worth mentioning is having a lid. I'm not gonna say you need to have a lid, but we spend all of this money on fish and the last thing we wanna see is them go carpet surfing. So I definitely always recommend to reefers in adding a lid onto their systems. I'm really excited about this nano tank because I'm gonna be teaming up with top lids and we're gonna be making the perfect little nano lid and I'm gonna be showcasing it with you all and share with you all the series and how you guys can be able to do so for your own nano tank. That's it for my list when it comes to the things I think that are needed for getting a nano reef tank up and running. I'm really curious to hear down in the comments below what you guys think are the necessary pieces of equipment to get a nano reef tank up and going. I wanna say thank you so much to you guys for tuning in all through this video. It was a lot of fun starting this series out. I think this is gonna be a really fun one. So definitely subscribe and stay tuned for the upcoming videos. And until next time, Happy reefing.